Hello McDowell, I'm Adam Unger and this is the last episode of the Trojan Bliss and this background isn't right. That's better. And this is a sports highlight show produced by the students that covers the students made for the students. We have the district head lacrosse doubleheader, playoff results, and the long-awaited best of the year clips. Starting off with the McDowell Trojans baseball senior night as they honor Noah Warren, Levi Wright, John Polanco, and our own Vinny Carone. Jake Snagaki started off the offense for the Trojans as he hits one deep to left for a single that scores Matt Soleil. Next clip coming from our own Vinny Carone. He sends one to the outfield as well, and here comes sophomore Carter Ryback, the pinch runner, put the Trojans up two to nothing. Strategy here from the Trojans as left side of your screen, sophomore outfielder Mike Ruff steals second, gets himself into a pickle to free up Jake Snagaki to steal home. Defensively, Levi Wright was on the mound yet again for the McDowell Trojans as he got Lancers looking, swinging, along with a sweet grab on the liner right back to him. Moving you ahead to the sixth inning, Trojans were up five to nothing. Shortstop Matt Soleil crushes one deep. Nick Doolittle looking for the tag up, and when it goes over the outfielder's head, he is good to go home for the score. Later on, Soleil in scoring position. Senior outfielder Noah Warren grounds out. However, the RBI chance succeeds as Soleil comes home to make it 7-0. Senior closer John Polanco on the mound. Runners on second and third. Forces a ground out to Soleil, and that's the game. Trojans win big on senior day, 7-0. And now, the best of the year from the fall. By the McDowell Mob stealing Prep's flag against the Cathedral Prep Ramblers at Veterans Stadium on September 12th. For the McDowell Prep soccer game as the direct kick goes from Josh Hanger to Brian Donnelly for the score. The Trojans would go on to tie that game 2-2. Two two. Coming from Jenna to Placido as she scores six goals in a blowout victory over Fairview. Rachel Bailey with the dig. The events will send it to the Laney Soul. What kind of power you got? I got soul power! Huskies on the return. Plots finds Venzel, puts it right back up, and that would be the set. Here towards the end of the third quarter, Tyler Hewlett fumbles the ball right into Didi Zimzak's hands. Zimzak takes it all the way to the house to give the Trojans a 28-14 lead going into the fourth quarter. However, Fernando Fry with the top five nominee as he blocks the kick to save the Trojans, takes it herself through with three Dubois defenders, takes a shot from 15 yards out and puts it far post for the victory. Trojans already up 7-0 as Jake Tarasovich takes it up the middle. Whoa! Shakes the defender. That's a Trojan top five nominee. He is off to the races. He takes it all the way into the end zone to put the Trojans up 14-0. Who you guys and who you who? District 10 championship between the McDowell Trojans and the Prep Ramblers. Here in the first quarter, Ty Morris finds Mike Shar loses the ball, but Connor Seibel picks it up and puts it in for the score. Davis Neese passes it to Noah Vroman who gives it right back and he puts it near post for the score. The back and forth game would continue as Ty Morris finds Jamie Alloway with the inside finish. Vroman with another assist, this time he finds Mike Zono who scores from the crease to give the Ramblers a 4-3 lead at the half. Moving ahead to second half action, Vroman again the helper on Blaze Consul's goal. Ramblers would be up 6-3 after three quarters. That was until former interviewee Micah Daigle took control with this sniper stick side high. Daigle led the Trojans on a 4-0 run to put the Trojans up 7-6 in the fourth quarter. Our Roman would find Konzel again for the tying goal. That would send us to overtime. Both teams would have their opportunities here as Hitman finds the outside of the cage. Moving ahead to the second overtime, Jamie Alley stutter steps the defender, gets by him, and hits the post. Now moving to the other end, still in the second overtime. Hinman forces a slide, takes it up, kicks it to Will Lewis, who puts in the game-winning goal for the District 10 Championship. We now take you over to the best of the year. Molly Rinkevich going up for the block. Stop looking at my lucky charm! Vinny, how many swimmers do you think East has on its team? 15. Lower. 10. Lower. 5. Even lower. 4. Yes. The East Twin team has four total members. Trojans win 56-45. Trojans would roll over the Colonels. Kelsey Swantek with this three. They win 58-19. to Trojans with me. Stephen Owen doing the butterfly, and he beats them by five hundredths of a second. From Dylan Dirkmatt with the tip-in over Prep senior Jack Lindenberger. 
McDowell possession to Sox, taking it from the key. Finds Quinn Lewis, who finds dirt down low. As McDowell's Vinny Delacurdy gets this cross ice pass and fires a rocket top shelf where Mama hides the Thin Mints. As Max Kerr cuts, and that boy ate his spicy chicken patty. Too late for prep, as McDowell would go on to win this one by a final score of 46 to 38. Saucy Mitch moving through the Montour defense. Down on the drive, and he hits the deck, and he hits it hard. You see a Dylan Dirk Matt in the District 10 Championship game rumbling and bumbling and stumbling his way to the game-winning layup for the Trojans. Tessa Zach shattering the diving record at 492.15. McDowell girls lacrosse team taking on Fairview in the District 10 Championship. Jada Camino takes the ball and goes stick side low for the goal. Here Megan McWilliams with the roll dodge to answer right back for the Tigers. Allie Hart on the breakaway splits the defenders and goes top shelf for the goal. Brandon Morosky feeds the crease to Alina Naratko for the goal. However the Tigers take a 5-4 lead into the second half. Allie Hart again with the ball for the Tigers. She takes it into the crease, shoots, and scores. Alex Zielinski looking for someone to pass it to. Brianna Long cuts, receives the pass, and puts it near post for the goal. Later, Alex Zielinski again with the split dodge and the left-handed finish. Now in the fast break, McWilliams scores her second goal of the game. Zielinski again leading the Trojans, hits Brianna Murawski back shoulder, and with the inside finish, she puts it in for the goal. Jada Camino again powers away through the Tigers and puts it in for the goal. Zelensky again here puts the moves on some Tiger defenders before she puts it away. Trojans going to win 12-9. And now for the best of the year for the spring. On the end of the turf, Ricky Renfitz with the ground ball in front of her own net goes coast to coast as she speeds her way through the entire Fairview defense to finish her own work at the other end. Good job. Not three. One, two, three, two. Later on, Fort LaBeouf serving now. McDowell sets it up nicely, and big country, Nick Kane. Who's coming off of their 2-1 and one Myrtle Beach trip, and Megan Kraus, who pitched all 22 innings on the trip, was on the mound again today against the Victors as she had 10 strikeouts. Trojan top five nominee from Connor Seibel, who picks up this loose ball and fires a backhand shot between the wickets of the prep goaltender, Hunter Emerson. Trojan top five nominee from her own, Vinny Carone. Rambler's looking for the suicide squeeze, and him and Nick Doolittle pick off Owen Means. Next play coming from Micah Dagle. He gets the takeaway check, hogs it to himself, uses it across midfield, picks up the ground ball, takes it down the field, shoots and scores. They presented the game ball to Jack Armbruster's mother and sister who were present at the game for the fundraiser. We have senior high principal Tim Rankin throwing down an unsuspecting defender, Vinny Carone. The Trojans were still clinging to Noah Warren's third inning run as we head to the seventh. Colin Williams lines to second, and Jack Baird makes a snag to seal the 2 1 victory for the Trojans. Welcome to McDowell Minute. The softball team took home their seventh straight District 10 championship in the Quad A class, a record for District 10. Behind the golden arm of ace pitcher Megan Krause, the Lady Trojans topped the strong Vincent Colonels 7-2. The undisputed Quad A champion McDowell Trojans baseball team lost their playing game into the PIAA State Tournament to the Dubois Beavers by a score of 12-2. Great season, guys. The track and field team sent five individual competitors and one relay team to states. Among the competitors, junior pole vaulter Caleb Sanford took fourth in the AAA class. Senior hurdler Sydney Sokol broke school records in both the 100 meter and 300 meter. The girls lacrosse team took on the State College Little Lions on the road to start off the PIAA state tournament. On an 8 meter with 6 seconds to go, the Lady Trojans lost a heartbreaker to the Little Lions 10-9. Great season, ladies. The guys volleyball team dropped their sub-regional matchup against the bane of McDowell's playoff runs, those Little Lions. The Little Lions won straight sets 25-14, 25-21, 25-18. Great season, guys. Juniors Logan Williams and Julian Minicelli took a trip to Hershey for the AAA Doubles Championship. They topped their first round opponents 4-6, 7-6, 6-4, but they dropped their quarterfinals match in straight sets. That's all we've got for the McDowell Minute. That's all we got for the last episode of the Trojan Blitz. And we'd like to invite the entire production staff and our supervisor on for the final outro of the year. <laughs> Welcome to the whole squad. Seniors, would you like to say what you're doing next? I'm going to Allegheny College to pursue my careers in communications and baseball. 
I will be taking a gap year and then going to college for communications. I don't know yet. And I'll be studying broadcast and digital journalism at Syracuse University. Ms. Weiss? Some of us are returning, and if you'd like to join the, the Trojan Blitz squad next year, please see me as soon as possible. That's all we've got for the Trojan Blitz. See you next year, McDowell.